The Story of the Dead Dad, 6.30 a.m. Hey, honey. Hey, mom. When are you going to be back from work? Soon, honey. Okay, mom. 7 a.m. Mom? Yes, honey? I'm just collecting my stuff on my way to the car. Dad is dead, right? Yes? Why are you asking? He's texting me. Oh, sweetie. You watch too much horror movies. It's probably some friend just prank, just being silly. Yeah, but the messages are coming through his number. Look. I am telling you, honey, it's someone pranking you. But, Mom, I never gave to anyone my dad's phone number after he died or before. Just take some rest. I'm on my way home. Okay. The Story of the Dead Dad 2 This contact has been blocked. Tap to unblock. Honey, answer me. Honey, I know you're phone is on and that you're texting mom reply to me now dad what do you want from me i want you to come with me how are you even able to text me you're dead that doesn't matter all i want to tell you is that i'm going to make you come that i'm going to make you and the mother come with me no we are not coming with you. You are always drunk and horrible to us. So he moved out. And we don't want anything to do with you. Oh, that's sad. But we all know that at one point or another, I will come and kill you both. Come with me forever as a happy family. No, not a happy family, because you are always rude to us. Just because you're dead will not change what we think about you. Actually, we're both happy that you're dead, because we always hated you for what you did. What will you say, uh, say to change our mind? I have a little story that might change your mind. What is it? Well, you know, I always came back drunk from parties because I've been forced to, and I tried my best to make you both happy, but you have not appreciated it. So I decided to cre to create suicide. The police eventually found, found out and took my dead body to the grave and welcomed you two to, to the funeral, but you never came. I know because I've been watching through the grave, looking for your faces. I was planning to escape from my grave, and this is, and th this day came. It's all finally happening. My dream came true. I shall block you and ignore you. That's what mother said to do. Oh, don't do that. You'll be in bigger trouble. I don't care. I want for us to be safe. I quit college and left my dreams behind just so I can have little jobs around town to earn money for me and mom. At, at least enough for us to have food and drinks. My mom now also has a job, but she doesn't like it and, do, and she doesn't earn too much. Her boss is really rude, too. I'm now blocking you. The Story of the Dead Dad 3 Hey honey, I'm home. Oh, that's great. You're both here now. Jason, I thought you were dead. Of course I'm dead, stupid. I've been talking, I've been talking to your naughty daughter that has blocked me. That on the day of my funeral, I was looking out of my grave for your faces, but could not find them. 
so I'm deciding to kill you both and take you with me, and we can both both be all a happy family. I told you, Mom. Wait, Dad, did I block you? Yes, you did. I'm texting from your mom's phone now. Mom, quick, block him, so he's not able to text us. All right, sweetie. Eight ten a.m. Okay, I will call the police and inform them about all of this. But what if he gets us? I will die for you. I want you to be safe. You have a whole life in front of you. You're only fourteen. Mom, no, I don't want you to do that. Don't worry, sweetie. Everything will be fine.